cowboy, the athlete, the policeman, and the soldier are some of the most recognized images of masculinity over the years. But the cowboy died of lung cancer, the athlete got caught doping, the policeman shot an innocent bystander, and the soldier lost his life fighting an unnecessary war. So who are the heroes of masculinity now, and how do we currently define masculinity in a post-feminism world? Why are all you wimps taking it for granted that violence is bad and that being macho is bad? That's how we got here. This idea of this beta male being powerful and in control is, is what, 20, 30 years old? You're going against 40,000 years of evolution. And if you want to talk about baseless, stupid violence punching someone in a bar, that has been plummeting for the past 50 years. And to say we're a culture doused with guns, gun violence has all gone down. So totally irrational, stupid violence has all been going down. And so this idea that there's all these shootings, so they're on the rise. It's just a, it's a quantifiable myth. But the idea of men having to be tough, sorry, but we're the breadwinners, breadwinners for the majority of cases in the Western world. And yeah, there's an element of violence or at least toughness in running a business. Just the other day, this co-worker was telling us, what the fuck, you moved this director over to this other job? And, it, and I had to come back and say, don't fucking give me this what the fuck shit, okay? We moved the director to a job that was paying more money. It was almost like a fist fight with words. And I had to do that in order to generate income to pay my bills to feed my children, okay? So this innate toughness that men have is crucial to our survival. But Gavin, but Gavin, I don't think it's not crucial. But, but, but Gavin, isn't, isn't, isn't society changing in the moment where women have that toughness as well, and women are becoming the breadwinners, and that women men aren't are just the sole breadwinners anymore? We've trivialized childbirth and being domestic so much that women are forced to pretend to be men. They're feigning this toughness. They're miserable. Study after study has shown that feminism has made women less happy. They don't, they're not happy in the workforce for the most part. I'm mm -hmm. sure 7%, I would guess 7% like not having kids, they want to be CEOs, they like staying at the office all night working on a proposal, and all power to them. But by enforcing that as the norm, you're pulling all these women away from what they naturally want to do, and it's making them miserable, okay? They don't like that shit. I want to I want to let I want to let Marianne jump jump on jump on this one. That's ridiculous. Go ahead, Marianne. Yeah, I'd like to say as a feminist that I'm pretty darn happy and I don't think I'm in the minority and there are plenty of studies showing exactly the opposite that when you actually have couples when you have men and women both are happier when they actually have accepted the fact that there is no such thing as innate characteristics. There is no such thing as women really want to do this and men really want to do this. That's exactly the source of policing and oh, control well, and the kind of misery. I, I'm not done yet, Gavin, so you can be aggressive on your own time. But, but the idea here is that there's nothing about being tough or being aggressive or being successful that is at all related to being a male. It has everything to do with trying to make sure that you can be a good person and be good for the rest of your, if your family if you choose and you're contributing something to society. It's a really pernicious myth, this idea that there's something about being male that makes you either better equipped, better able, more likely to succeed or to do any of these things that we should value in our society. It should be a fairly simple conversation that if there are good things for people to do that improve everybody's lives, that make society better, less violent, more interesting, more creative, more fun, more sexy, those are things that we should be talking about that everybody can do. And it's just a sign, as I was saying, of weakness and fear and, and at least some kind of uh, figurative impotence to say, no, it has to be like this. I demand that it say like this, and all of you who are doing things that are different are messing with nature, and I really need you to stop. That's a real sign of weakness. May I jump in here? Yeah, go ahead, Michael. Yeah, well, see, so I, I appreciate what Marianne is saying, and I, I think if you watch what Gavin's doing here, you're seeing exactly how masculinity works, and that is that right. people define it in a particular way, and then threaten those who don't conform. So people who question gender are called wimps. They're considered not strong enough. There are fantasy studies which show that, uh, you know, taking a, a sort of deconstructive view of gender makes people miserable. And we really are slaves to our biology and we should just get back to the way things were. This is called the policing of masculinity and it's extremely common in the culture. So, Gavin, I, I want to let you respond to that, <laughs> to both of those. Go ahead. I don't know why I do these things. Uh, <laughs> I'm not enforcing anything on anyone. I'm saying the opposite of that. I'm saying we are ignoring 
the vast majority of the way people naturally behave. I don't want to enforce anything on anyone. You're the ones doing the enforcing. You're the ones saying women have to be in the fire department as often as they are well, in the real that? world. I didn't hear anybody say that. That must have been in your head. Okay, well, my gut says that the majority of women like being domestic and shaping lives. And until you oh. tried it, I wouldn't poo-poo it. Or my, my wife's a it, professor okay? of medicine. She's pretty okay in what she's doing. Oh, good. You found some anecdotal evidence to prove your point. Congratulations. Well, I, I also I you your guts. Wait, hold on, guys. Hold on. Let's, let's, let, let's, let, let's let Gavin finish, and then we'll go to someone else. All I'm saying is... People would be happier if they would, if women would stop pretending to be men, and we'd stop trivializing childbirth and domesticity. It's shaping a life that's way bigger than what I do. I make commercials and funny videos. That's nothing compared to shaping a life. Mm -hmm. But uh, Gavin, why is it that someone who is, why isn't it that someone who is masculine can't shape a life like that? Why, why is it that that that, that we separate that for 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 fem for someone that's feminine? I'm sure it's possible for them to be house husbands who are perfectly happy and good at functioning, but you people have taken that as the norm now, and it's ridiculous. You look ridiculous, okay? When I, when I see a guy, we've got guys who won't even, their wives won't take their last name. They, they stay at home while the wife makes money, and they think that they're happy, and I'm sure a tiny percentage are. But when you swing the pendulum so far away from the natural world, you all look like a bunch of fools. Yeah, but Gavin, you're you're confusing the natural world with societal norms that were established only only a hundred years ago in terms of taking someone's name or, or hundreds of years ago. You're not these these aren't this isn't the natural order. That isn't evolution. Well, who says it's not the natural order? I'm talking about forty thousand years. You're talking about a generation. And I see these people. Okay, I see these forty something who have been pushed. These women who have been pushing their careers, and they're fucking. Sad, okay? They want to adopt. They're taking hormones. They're trying to argue about stuff. Can we get a uh, can we get a fucking surrogate? Uh, they're, they're they're making twins because they're taking so many hormones. They're spending tens of thousands of dollars because they waited too long. And I I can see it's going to happen to you. I forgot your name, but I I know you don't have kids. Marianne, oh. Marianne, we we yeah. have to we have to go, and I want I want you to respond to that and 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 wrap us out. Well, I do think it's interesting because Gavin is, in fact, presenting what's wrong with masculinity right now. It's this insistence that things have to be a certain way. What does his evidence for that? He's I'm not that. insisting says, anything, wow. you fucking idiot. Oh, Gavin, take exactly, it, take it this down. This is what masculinity looks like. This is exactly what it looks like. Now, why is Gavin so scared? Why is he so frightened of the fact oh, that my God. some women don't want to have kids? Some women do. Some men want to take care of their kids. Some men don't. Nothing should be frightening about that. It's it, the only thing people need to be scared of is people like Gavin who are simply imposing their way and saying it has to be this way and pretending to be concerned about people's happiness. If people are truly happy doing something, if it really is in their instincts, no amount of culture is going to change that. It's not as though you stop being hungry because society tells you not to. So the fact of the matter is, if our society is getting more equal, men are doing things that they didn't do before, women are doing things that they didn't do before, and we're getting healthier and happier as a society, there is nobody who should really be crit criticizing. Can't wait to until they find out that she took money from Saudi Arabia and other countries that treat women horribly. Here now with Reaction, author of The Death of Cool, Gavin McGinnis, Fox News contributor, Tamara is back. I, I, there's a part of me that says, oh, I love Hillary, I love Hillary, oh, yes, we can, Obama. There's like, liberals are, are sort of like zombies. They repeat what they hear, and they know, they, why did they say they'll vote for somebody and know nothing about the candidate? That infuriates me, because they can cancel out my vote. Why do you actually believe the, the Washington free banana peel whatever group that did this, this search on Hillary Clinton? It's actually true. No, it's not true. It's a far right group that took the data and manipulated it to support their position. By the way, is, Obama does the same this, thing. Is and this pays where you guys less. now get your information? Washington Free Beacon or whatever? They're the ones. Anything that's reported Hillary Clinton did this, did that. There's, there's absolutely Tamara. no evidence Tamara. of this, and it's just not true. It actually is true. No, it's not. Washington Gavin. Free Banana Peel is not a legitimate It'd be the organization. the Washington Free Beacon, which is a legitimate newspaper. Yes. But Gavin, right look, there's different ways to look at the data, but the big picture here is women do earn less in America 
because they choose to. They would rather go to their daughter's piano recital than stay all night at work working on a, a, a you know, proposal. What? So they end up earning less. They're less ambitious. And I think this is sort of God's way. This is nature's way of saying women should be at home with the kids. Are They're you, happier there. I, I hope that your viewers do not take you Sir, seriously. There's a great book because you should read. It's called Why Men Earn More. And it's all about women choosing to put family over work. And that's why they earn ha less. Having a choice does not mean that you're less ambitious. And your comments are absolutely deplorable. Sean, I would like less you. Less ambitious in the world. I would like, like you to in. adjust it. I would, you're, you're a father. Housewives you have a daughter. Heroes. If you were a real feminist, you would support housewives and see them as the heroes. You and women who work, wasting their time. You said that women are less ambitious. Women are you less have ambitious. Said you have all also said that women are better suited in the home. Yes, You've that's also a fact. said that uh, let's see that women are emotional and women shouldn't run for public office. <laughs> All of these things that just I never are said absolutely... women shouldn't run for yes, public you office. Have. You've said if we're that talking before. about fifty percent of the population, generally out of this two hundred and fifty million people or, or one hundred and fifty million people, most women are happier at home. They are pretending that they like working and they're not making money because they don't stay all night at the office. They don't go the extra mile. Why they don't work all here? weekend. I'm You're making a mistake. Here? You would be much happier at home with a husband and children. Oh boy. Oh, I mean, boy. I'm, I'm literally oh. You just said you're single. Oh. You don't have a boyfriend. You're what? That's you're celibate? That's my choice. Yeah, look, you're miserable. You would be so much happier with oh. kids around you tonight. <laughs> Imagine coming home. Mommy's home. You're a you, 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 you know you what, wanna... Gavin? You're, you're not funny. <laughs> You're not what you not you do not do funny. anything. I'm trying to make you happy. You do not do anything for the better. Sean, this yes, isn't funny. Do. Feminism has made this... women miserable. Women were much happier when there were when housewives were glorified. I, guess what? I had right, a choice gotta... to be married and Get I chose Tamara. not to. Right, I have a choice up. to have you kids. Tamara, we'll give you the last word. Go ahead. I think that your guest here is doing a disservice to all of the viewers to and to do, doing a disservice to America by saying that women that I need to be married that I would be happier would be at home happier that. You're what miserably married? Just because no, I'm just ecstatic. having a I'm ring I'm trying to on... share my joy. I, you should see my little not two-year-old. Not everybody He's has the same life, the life pattern as you. Okay? I know it's the fall. And not everybody wants to marry somebody in a, in a bootleg seersucker suit and go home to that. I don't want to go home to that. You don't have to go home to me. Go home to a hunk. <laughs> oh gosh. Jesus. This know. is absolutely disgusting. And Sean, I, you I should actually speak you up do. for the viewers th today and I, let them know I think, that I think your daughter should have a choice. I think I think women do have, have a choice. choice. Absolutely, of course. No one's saying they should, women shouldn't have a choice. Right, when we come back, we need your help. Our question of the day is straight. I'm just stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane! <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before! Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man! Everybody say that. That must have been in your head. Okay, well, my gut says that the majority of women like being domestic and shaping lives. And until you oh. tried it, I wouldn't poo-poo it. Or my my wife's a it, professor okay? of medicine. She's pretty okay in what she's doing. Oh, good. You found some anecdotal evidence to prove your point. Congratulations. Well, I, I also I you your best. Wait, hold on, guys. Hold on. Let's, let's, let, let's, let, let's let Gavin finish, and then we'll go to someone else. All I'm saying is people would be happier if, they would, if women would stop pretending to be men and we'd stop trivializing childbirth and domesticity. It's shaping a life that's way bigger than what I do. I make commercials and funny videos. That's nothing compared to shaping a life. Mm -hmm. But, uh, Gavin, why is it that someone who is... Why isn't it that someone who is masculine can't shape a life like that? Why, why is it that, 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 that we separate that for, 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 fem for someone that's feminine? I'm sure it's possible for them to be house husbands who are perfectly happy and good at functioning, but you people have taken that as the norm now, and it's ridiculous. You look ridiculous, okay? When I, when I see a guy, we've got guys who won't even, their wives won't take their last name. They, they stay at home while the wife makes money, and they, fuck, you move this director over to this other job, and it, 
and I had to come back and say, don't fucking give me this what the fuck shit, okay? We moved the director to a job that was paying more money. It was almost like a fist fight with words, and I had to do that in order to generate income to pay my bills to feed my children, okay? So this innate toughness that men have is crucial to our survival. But and Gavin, but Gavin, no, isn't, I don't think it's not crucial. But, but, but Gavin, isn't, isn't, isn't society changing in the moment where women have that toughness as well and women are becoming the breadwinners and that women men aren't are just the sole breadwinners anymore? We've trivialized childbirth and being domestic so much that women are forced to pretend to be men. They're feigning this toughness. They're miserable. Study after study has shown that feminism has made women less happy. They don't, they're not happy in the workforce for the most part. I'm sure 7%, I would guess 7% like not having kids, they want to be CEOs, they like staying at the office all night working on a proposal, and all power to them. But by enforcing that as the norm, you're pulling all these women away from what they naturally want to do, and it's making them miserable, okay? They don't like that shit. I want to. I want to. I want to let Marianne jump, jump on. Jump on this one. That's ridiculous. Go ahead, Marianne. Cowboy, the athlete, the policeman, and the soldier are some of the most recognized images of masculinity over the years. But the cowboy died of lung cancer. The athlete got caught doping. The policeman shot an innocent bystander, and the soldier lost his life fighting an unnecessary war. So, who are the heroes of masculinity now, and how do we currently define masculinity in a post-feminism? world why are all you wimps taking it for granted that violence is bad and that being macho is bad that's how we got here this idea of this beta male being powerful and in control is is what 20 30 years old you're going against 40,000 years of evolution and if you want to talk about baseless stupid violence punching someone in a bar that has been plummeting for the past 50 years and to say we're a culture doused with guns gun violence has all gone down so totally irrational, stupid violence has all been going down. And so this idea that there's all these shootings, so they're on the rise. It's just a, it's a quantifiable myth. But the idea of men having to be tough, sorry, but we're the breadwinners, breadwinners for the majority of cases in the Western world. And, yeah, there's an element of violence or at least toughness in running a business. Just the other day, this co-worker was telling us, what the f Yeah, I'd like to say as a feminist that I'm pretty darn happy, and I don't think I'm in the minority, and there are plenty of studies showing exactly the opposite, that when you actually have couples, when you have men and women both, are happier when they actually have accepted the fact that there is no such thing as innate characteristics. There is no such thing as women really want to do this and men really want to do this. That's exactly the source of policing and oh, control well, and kind of misery. I'm, I'm not done yet, Gavin, so you can be aggressive on your own time. But, but the idea here is that there's nothing about being tough or being aggressive or being successful that is at all related to being a male. It has everything to do with trying to make sure that you can be a good person, be good for the rest of your, if your family if you choose, and you're contributing something to society. It's a really pernicious myth, this idea that there's something about being male that makes you either better equipped, better able, more likely to succeed, or to do any of these things that we should value in our society. It should be a fairly simple conversation that if there are good things for people to do that improve everybody's lives, that make society better, less violent, more interesting, more creative, more fun, more sexy, those are things that we should be talking about that everybody can do. And it's just a sign, as I was saying, of weakness and fear and, and at least some kind of uh, figurative impotence to say, no, it has to be like this. I demand that it say like this, and all of you who are doing things that are different are messing with nature, and I really need you to stop. That's a real sign of weakness. May I jump in here? Yeah, go ahead, Michael. Yeah, well, see, so I, I appreciate what Marianne is saying, and I, I think if you watch what Gavin's doing here, you're seeing exactly how masculinity works, and that is that people define it in a particular way, and then threaten those who don't conform. So people who question gender are called wimps. They're considered not strong enough. There are fantasy studies which show that, uh, you know, taking a, a sort of deconstructive view of gender makes people miserable. And we really are slaves to our biology and we should just get back to the way things were. This is called the policing of masculinity and it's extremely common in the culture. So, Gavin, I, I want to let you respond to that. <laughs> to both of those. Go ahead. I don't know why I do these things. Uh, <laughs> I'm not enforcing anything on anyone. I'm saying the opposite of that. I'm saying we are ignoring the vast majority of the way people naturally behave. I don't want to enforce anything on anyone. You're the ones doing the enforcing. You're the ones saying women have to be in the fire department as often as, 
They are Who in the real that? world. I didn't hear any.